hello guys welcome to 3d home and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to model rich cap in archicad okay how to model rich cap and this time around i'll be showing you together with those three miles you normally see on roof on this edge okay so i'll be showing you together with this particular rich cap design okay so let's dive into the video without wasting much of your time now let's delete now let's delete this um let's remove this particular rich cap okay the first thing to do is make a copy of the roof okay make a copy of the roof make a copy of the roof so this is the roof all right then now let's change this material so that it will be visible when we change when we are done modeling the rich cap and then when we please it to be visible um let's change the roof to this one I think this one is a bit different okay a bit darker so now click on your story okay click on your story where you can see that particular roof plan okay let me shift this elevation downward a little okay so now what we need to do now is i need to shift this in a little bit down okay what we need to do now is we'll be making use of two tools for this particular um design okay for this particular design so one is the polyline tool this is what we'll be using and um i'll be taking you guys back to those days in school <laughs> those days in school where you model uh, where you draft your roof on drawing board okay so it's the same thing we are doing here you draw the roof so but this time around it's only the rich curve we'll be tracing once we trace that particular segment this one click on that line and then let's offset okay let's use offset all offset 150 okay 150 once you do this then the next thing to do is click on the roof click on any node that's close by select this subtract from polygon click on that subtract plus polygon um subtract from polygon and um click inside then now we are taking out any roof that's inside this rectangle okay so you can see now we are done with this one the next thing is to draw for this particular side too okay don't forget your polyline tool. Use it to trace this one as if you're, you know, like you're adding your line width on your drawing board. Trace only the reach. Okay. Plus this other side. Then now click on the line. Offset 150 inside. Nope, this is not up to 150. Offset 150. Okay. Then click on the roof click on the node and then pick subtract from polygon okay same thing let's subtract let's remove this one okay this is very simple just pay attention okay we are done with here we are done with here so it's running let's do here okay pick your polyline tool again okay polyline tool your reach don't trace on your gutters okay we're not working on the roof gutters just the reach only so this one is going a long way just follow along okay and on this side to this point to this point and then i'll bring it down to this other point take it down to this one then you return back to where you started from okay to that first point you can see we are close already so this is that point you click here then now don't forget offset inside you can see how big the place is offset inside that is 150 i say 150 and um don't forget to click on the roof okay then click on this black point which is the node and um click on this subtract from polygon okay once you click on subtract plus um from polygon there is where you, where these your joints are start from there okay trace that line back that your offset line trace it back trace it just trace the line okay trace the line i think after this one i will show you the work in progress so you see what we've done so far trace the line just trace the line just trace the line to this point to this point then you go back to this side to this side 
then to this side then you go back to that first point you can see the whole of this page now is open so let me show you what we've done so far okay you can see this is what we've done so far all right so it's just remaining it's remaining this point and this other point so these are only the piece left all right so let's continue from where we stopped okay now the same thing let's work on this one okay okay it's polyline click on your polyline all right don't forget it's polyline now we need to start again this is the polyline okay click here select this rect um this rectangle okay and then now escape and offset click on the line offset 150 inside enter and um this time around use the same thing the same method click on the roof click on the node and then select this um subtract from polyline and follow the same method okay same method this one now is gone then there's many this point okay same thing polyline use the polyline to trace that shape okay the roof shape and this is very interesting okay don't don't see that something that is difficult just pay close attention and you enjoy the process so click on the line again all right offset 150 inside once you're done click on the roof click on any dark point and um select subtract from polyline and then retrace that your line okay retrace the line retrace the line and go back to the first the first point which is this one okay we're almost done we're almost done we're almost done so the same thing pick your polyline click from here to this other point and then just like we started okay highlight this rectangle okay then use offset okay offset 150 inside click on the roof click on any of the notes select this subtract okay and then from this inner lines you can see i'm picking from the inner lines from that your offset that i'm picking from okay to this point to this point to this point back to this point so the only side left now is here okay so let's same thing polyline click from here to here to here to here back to here okay then use offset offset 150 again okay then um don't forget to click on the roof and also click on this small point which is the black point then let's you select the subtract okay then click from this point retrace that particular roof okay retrace the roof to here to here okay let's check out 3d i know it's a this back side only so you can see what we've done so far so it's running here and here let's do that really quick okay go back to your story select polyline okay polyline to this point back to here to this side back to here to this side to this here to here to this side and then end it there then click on that same thing that same line and then type in 150 so now click on the roof select um click on any of the points and then subtract okay under subtract click on this line let's subtract the remaining points okay all right i'm using this complicated roof in the sense that you understand every detail on how to do this rich cap okay that's why i didn't choose any simple or small roof but i want us to go through this um you know this journey of 
or rich cap so that you can be able to model any type of rich cap so this one now this is the rich cap we are done with this particular rich cap so the next thing to do is to place it back to this roof okay and remember the thickness are all the same okay so let's increase the thickness of this one let's increase the thickness instead of 10 let's make this one 20 okay and then enter so now go back to your plan okay click on this entire roof and then move the roof move the roof you can see drag here so we drag the roof back to this first point which is this one all right now let's check our 3d this is what we just did okay this is the design here is the rich cap okay here is the rich cap and here is that trimmers okay the roof trimmers so thank you for your time thank you for paying close attention and if you find this video helpful all right if you find the video helpful, if you find the tutorial helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and um, if you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section. I will attend to you there. See you on our next tutorial. I know that some people are hacking and I'll drop this video. <laughs> See you on our next tutorial.